Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. We've got one of the most unique episodes I think I've ever produced of the Zombies News Update. I can't wait to share its contents with you today, but before we get started, I'd appreciate the heck out of you if you can smash that thumbs up button down below, and hey, consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already for more great Zombies content to come. I also want to thank you guys so much for the Element 115K milestone. It's a milestone that's only important to Zombies YouTubers, and I want to thank you guys so much for helping me get there. So kicking things off with our first story of the day, I'm sure you guys are aware that we got the 1.21 patch update for Black Ops 3 yesterday. The patch came out both on the Xbox and the PS4, and the patch notes cited that it fixed some minor security and performance issues. Now I saw a bunch of people saying, well hey, this patch and its size might mean that there's some hidden content within it. And while we haven't found any explicit evidence of hidden content within the patch, the patch definitely had some effects on zombies. More specifically, if you go and check out some of your old theater mode footage that saved before the patch, there's a good chance that that theater mode footage will be extremely, extremely glitched. And it's because of this glitch that we're able to find out some new and very interesting things about zombies that we didn't know before. Before I show you guys the actual contents of the glitch, what you're about to see is a game where all the values for all the items within the game have been switched, meaning nothing is as it appeared in the original footage. I think that Blue Wind 360 Gaming did a very good job explaining what we believe caused this glitch, where he said it's obvious what has happened, all weapon references are stored in a table from 0 to 100, with an arc number representing a gun. It would appear that Treyarch have added a weapon in the patch and thrown the numbers off so that they now graphically reference the next gun on the table. And remember, this happens only to footage that was captured pre-patch that uses the weapon values that were available before this patch, meaning that post-patch, if a weapon was added, a new weapon, those numbers would be different, and that's what's causing this glitch, or so the theory goes. Right now, it appears that these two new weapons are going to be the Galil and the Ballistic Knife from Black Ops 1. But the thing is, this has never affected zombies before, meaning there might be some implications for zombies with this March Contraband update for multiplayer. So, to kick things off, when you start off a game of zombies, you start off with the regular pistol, right? Well, not in this version. In this version, you start off with the L-Car. And again, guys, this is on PS4 with no mods, and you can probably do it yourself if you're on console. Furthermore, the knife has been replaced by the ray gun. For whatever reason, whenever you knife a zombie, you pull out a ray gun and then take it back. The death and taxes make an appearance and the death and taxes are substituting the RK5 in this version. The interesting part of this is these death and taxes actually don't have the pack-a-punched camo and feature whichever camo you had on your RK5. Again guys, this isn't being played live, this is only viewable in theater mode. Next up we have a totally glitched out mystery box wherein at the end here we can see whatever this is we've determined that this is the trigger and magazine mechanism of the pharaoh but when it's picked up it turns into the weevil but probably the most interesting thing we've seen from the mystery box so far is this this is the spike launcher from campaign of Black Ops 3 within the mystery box of Black Ops 3 zombies. As far as I can tell, in terms of the item this is replacing, I think that it's replacing the trip mines, and this is what shows up in its stead in this glitched theater mode version. But we didn't know that this item was able to be obtained outside of the campaign in zombies. There was for a time before Zetsubo was released that a lot of people believed that this would be the wonder weapon in that map. Obviously that didn't come true. But the original reason they thought that was because they found the code for this thing within Derizendraka and Zetsubo Noshima. I saw some people speculating, well, 
Does this mean that the spike launcher is going to be coming to Black Ops 3 Zombies? I don't think we can make that statement at this time. As far as I'm aware, this is just totally glitched, wherein the values are totally screwed up that'll take in anything that's inside the map, a different texture, a different weapon, and mix them up to a point that includes objects that are unobtainable within the game. But surprisingly, weapons aren't the only thing that gets screwed up in this version of theater. There's a whole bunch of weird artifacting that appears on Der Eisendrach. First in the area near the left courtyard, just coming out of spawn, there's these weird artifacts that go up to the ceiling near the chandelier that we have no idea what their purpose is, and this is the only area of the map that this appears on. There's also some strange artifacting just above the death ray in Der Eisendrach that, again, we don't have any explanation for. We did find this sick new weapon, guys, that I think you're gonna love. It's called Zombie Hands Melee. It totally glitched out of me so that we had the Zombie Hands Melee weapon. This is on the PS4. Uh, so I guess Richtofen can slap some zombies away, I I'm not exactly sure, but again this is just a totally glitched out version of the game to the point that we got a sick new shield within the game and that is the Monkey Bomb shield. That's right, the shield texture has been replaced with the Monkey Bomb on Der Reisendrach, fusing your back with the explosive power of monkeys that you love. It just acts like a regular shield, just the texture has changed in theater mode. Whenever you pack a punch, you get some Juggernog, apparently. And it always seems to be Juggernog for whatever reason. This one is definitely one of my favorites. When you grab the bow, you pull it back, you're getting ready to fire. Instead of a bow, you fire the freaking Plunger. I lost it when I saw this for the first time. Plunger bow in DLC 5 confirmed. We made that a meme during the last stream we did last night. Definitely a quality meme. Thanks to those Twitter users for these submissions. But in this glitched version of theater mode, guys, it can only get better. When you go down into Rock in this glitched theater mode, instead of shooting, you know, whatever weapon you get when you're down, in this version it's an upgraded RK5, you shoot out XM. 53s. Instead of bullets, you shoot XM 53s at your enemies. Why can't this be an easter egg in the regular game? I'd love to shoot XM 53s at zombies when I'm down. I'd get down just to do this. We also found the M27 appearing here in Der Eisendrach on the PS4 of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now the M27 is a weapon we are aware of since the release of Der Eisendrach. It can be found within the code, spawned via console, is fully textured and is pretty much just ready to rock within the game. But obviously you cannot access it. Previously, this thing can only have been found in multiplayer via a glitch or again spawned in via console on the PC, but I don't think this has been found on the PS4 within zombies yet. We can again use the same logic we use for the spike launcher, that this is just a totally screwed up value, that it's grabbing textures that shouldn't be accessible within the map but are in the map's code, putting them into things that obviously shouldn't match and this is what we get as the result. And it was really surprising to see the M27 within Zombies legit in vanilla for the first time. Moving on to Revelations, whenever a few Zombies died, they'd die with their Peacekeeper Mark IIs, which would then slowly descend back into the ground just like they were a player being killed. And this is possibly the most confusing one of the bunch. The other ones we can, you know, cut down to different values being changed and things like that, but this is an Apothecan Servant Grenade. For whatever reason, whenever you throw a grenade in this glitch version of theater mode, the grenade becomes an Apothecan Servant shot, but the grenade is still visible within that shot. I'm not 100% sure what value is being changed here. It might just be the small effect around the grenade being totally glitched, resulting in this Apothecan Servant shot, but it definitely looks very cool here on Revelations. If you want to see my live reactions to these incredible glitches, I did a live stream yesterday, which I know a bunch of you caught. It was my 115k subscriber celebration live stream. I think it was the most that I've ever laughed in a Black Ops 3 Zombies 
this game to date. Finding these things out for the first time were incredible. If you want to see that live reaction, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of your screen right now and that'll give you the option to watch the live stream or alternatively it's available down in the description. Just a quick side note, I want to explore Revelations further in this glitch theater mode. I didn't get a chance to do that last night in great detail. We're going to do that tonight, so be sure to tune in for that stream if you're available. Now moving right on ahead to our second story of the day, guys. DLC 2 teasers for Infinite Warfare Zombies have just started up. Lee Ross tweeting, who is ART? Obviously with a bunch of blanks in there. So I assume he's going to be teasing out the name of the characters since we pretty much confirmed that Disco is going to be in the map name itself. This seems like it might be a new character within the DLC 2 Zombies map. Obviously, that seems to be what he's teasing. We don't have exactly enough clues to solve it so far, I think. But if you guys want to take a shot at it, there it is on screen now. A-R-T is our clues. I think we all just have to start tweeting the Price is Right references at him, and maybe he'll give us more clues that way. I'll take a vowel for 20, Lee. Well, guys, that wraps up today's news. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. This was probably the, again, the funnest I've had in Black Ops 3 Zombies exploring this glitch so far in terms of implications for the future. Man, it, it could be signs of things to come that for somehow this has triggered these weapons to spawn within Dead Rising Direct, the M27, as well as the Spike Launcher, but for this time, I'm pretty much going to say right now that this is most likely a glitch and nothing to really be super excited about in terms of new content, but excited enough to say, at least for me personally, hands down, the best Black Ops 3 Zombies glitch I've ever seen. Again, if you guys want to do it yourself, if you're on console, go ahead, check out some of your past theater mode footage that was created pre-patch, so it must have been created before the patch was downloaded, and see if it'll work for you. I've heard a bunch of people saying it was successful for them as well. But I want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies News Update tomorrow. Okay.